so hello guys welcome to crnt designers in this tutorial we are going to learn how to ui and wrap this cool looking sci-fi sword so let's get start today yeah let's look at cool sound school okay so just hide this objects uh, where is it and then this yeah for you one this below the camera okay so we are going to ui and wrap the first upon this blade so let's get start today Okay, so just <laughs> first upon apply the modifiers. Here is a mirror modifier you can see. So please apply this modifier. Go to the object mode and just apply this modifier. So we here we have applied the uh, modifier. Now we need to add some sci-fi looking material. So that's a new material. Then create a chicken uh, texture. You can see here the base color. Go to the uh, base color. Then go to the chicken texture. Yeah, that's like. The next thing we need to do, then just go to the UV editing. Yeah, here is a UV editing. You can see all the UVs of this sci-fi looking blade. And what we need to do, select the um, edge. Go to the edge mode and just select this all the edges from like this. And then select all the edges. Okay, from this side also we need to do the same process. Then you need to do the same simple thing. Just go there and control E and mark seam. Okay. After that marking seam, just go there, go to the top view and the press A. Oh, not sorry. Here, not here. So press A and go to the UV project from view. So you will get this kind of shape right here. Okay. This is simple thing, and then just go there uh, in the material uh, here in the material, and then just uh, default the vector. Take a, uh, select a UV. Where is that UD UV? Hey, something there's a different. Yeah, here is a UV. So just select this UV, and then you can see. Go to the look there. So you can see we have applied the UV map right here, okay. And we just need to do the scale it little bit so um, more. I go to the top view and here open that UV texture. But it's not necessary to add this UV grid with this. Then just scale, oh, not this, scale this, so you will get the better understanding of UV from here. But it's not necessary to have that kind of thing. But okay, keep it as it is. Then just uh, select A and then go to the UV and average island skip. Okay, after that, doing this, and then go to the UV and pack island so you will get this look of your island just uh, then select this and just rotate this in this way so you will get some things 
and bring it at the center if you want then it's it's totally depend on you okay so here we have unwrapped this blades looking cool classic fantastic blade uh, we have a uv unwrap this now next part it is to uv unwrap this cube right here so which is this so i'm going to the edit mode and just select before the selecting go to your modifiers and please apply this bevel mask not the bevel uh, mirror modifier i'll keep bevel as it is don't need to apply that bevel modifier then select the all the edges or you can say just select like go to this kind of things and then select each edge right there if you want to uh, like uh, do like this then otherwise it's totally depend on you i have an another way just select a go to the top view and uv it's basically it's a cube so it doesn't matter project from view so you will get this and just go there and apply that the last material okay after applying the last material you need to do the simple thing just scale it a and then s and make sure your uh, boxes should be square means uh, uh, this uvs should in square not in rectangle because if uh, those the uvs will be in rectangle then it will make difference uh, in the material so let's keep this thing in your mind because this we can see these boxes are square next thing we need to do uh, same kind of uv unwrap with this one uh, cylinder so just go there and first of all if there is any modifier then apply it here it is not any modifier so we don't need to apply this bevel modifier here and just go there or we, actually we don't need to uv unwrap this i think because here we can see it is a cylindrical form and the cylinder cube all are the in the uv form uh, their uv they are already uv unwrapped so we don't need to apply that uv modifier just scale it uh, let's see how is it and if i scale this actually we don't get anything means we need to apply just really first upon a and then s a s yeah that's cool but uh, here are some of the problems you can see artifacts we can here see because of the uvs and you can see these are not perfect square so we should try to manage this as a square okay so just go there and select like this and try to make them perfect square no yet they are not looking like a square uh now now they are square yeah i hope yeah pretty decent yeah they are quite a uh, little bit square here here are the square but not the here so we need to select these options means just uh, keep uh, turn on this option and uh, you can say just go there and uh, oh, i think we need to in face mode and just select this one first of all you should have in the face mode then uh, try to make them uh, a perfect square if it's possible then and here we have done our next uv unwrap here we have unwrap our next object and then we need to unwrap this last object right here you can see this is a cylindrical uh, form and it is already uv unwrap because it is in the cylindrical form so just go there and apply the material and just we need to adjust this material once again so here you will get an idea of this kind of things so just a uh, just a uh, wait a minute and then i think i will show you just press this go to the, this land island so l and then just scale it down and this way Oh, not, 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 no, 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 in this way. So try to make the perfect square. No, it's not necessary that it should be the perfect one. But 
try to achieve that thing which will give the good effect and texture Okay to go good to go good to go let's go ahead and then just select this one press this ln just double tap a, a and just select this island okay uh, i think you can take it a little bit outside if it's possible so you won't get confused right there and we need to do some sort of things just scale be a little bit scale it and see no it's quite a different thing you can see here and we need to apply the you need to add the uv and that so i have one idea that i will go there and i will project the say i will do cylindrical projection if i do the cylindrical projection i will get this kind of things and then if i scale it what will i get i don't know i'm not pretty sure about it but the something kind of this i will get there <clears throat> it's uh, okay 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 you can see the geometry in here and then we need to make them perfect square uh no it's not okay oh oh oh, oh yeah wait 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 i need to make them skew Yes, I'm going to add a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, it's okay, 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 okay. It's okay. Fine, 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 fine. Don't need to worry more about it. You can keep it as it is. Okay, so we have apply. We have UV and wrap this our third object also. And then the last object. Here is remain. We need to apply the UV unwrapping to this. Not apply. We need to UV unwrap this object. So today, let's get start. And you can see. Just go and add this material. I'm looking material. And I guess it's already UV unwrap because this is a cylindrical form. So we need to UV unwrap only if we modify any kind of object. Then otherwise they are already UV unwrap. Just we need to adjust them. So what will I do? Just scale this little bit. No, you come here and make them perfect square. If you are not getting well, just scale it because okay. Now you can understand how to make them square. Wait. now they are perfect square but you can keep them as it is yeah so here also we have applied the uv and wrapping and now the last and final thing we need to don't need to uv and wrap this so go to the layout mode and just see the object right here we have completely very well uv and wrap this object you can see right here I have the another blade right here. I will show you, but uh, this is not in this video. And if you want to see the UV unwrapping of this blade like this, then just go and the UV editing, and then scale it to large. Or you can add the UV grid width. Scale, just go and fifty. So you will get. looking you weeks like this okay so what i had done here i don't know i have you we unwrap this blade once again and this time more fast and you can see this good thing it's too large it's too high so just go down and do 10 yeah 10 is okay We don't need to see. You have seen. I just want to show you. Otherwise, you go there and select the fifty, and then once again the scale. Uh, you scale down this U width.
so here we have applied the uv ring means you here we have unwrap this sword uv unwrap you can see right there go to the game and see the cool uv unwrapping of this sci-fi looking sword so thank you guys we will see how to shade it and apply the material in the next parts sayonara